Hello and welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use HTTP web requests. Uh, here is the lesson plan. So, number one, we're going to create the initial web request. Number two, we're going to create the response from the reader. Number three, we're going to get the response from the reader. And number four, we're going to display the response on the screen. Okay, so we'll go to the start menu and we'll open Visual Basic. If you haven't already got Visual Basic, then I'll put a link in the description, but as it says on this uh, title of this tutorial, it is an intermediate program, so you need to know a little bit about programming to actually do this tutorial. So we'll click on new project, we'll create the project, and we'll just call it request. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So hit OK, create the new project, and we'll wait about five years because my laptop is so slow. <laughs> Okay, it usually does. Uh, uh, there we go. So we've got a form. Uh, we're going to add a few form controls onto it. But first, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we have a nice working space. So we'll go down to text box on your toolbox and we'll just add a new text box. Uh, we'll put it at the bottom of the form and we'll make it about this big. It doesn't have to be that big. You just choose what size you want it. And then we'll put a button next to it and we'll call it button uh, clamp uh, we'll just do that and we'll call this button go then we're going to rename this text box and we're going to do it change it to go url do a capital u because it just makes it nicer to program with uh, we're going to add another text box in and this is going to go at the top stretch it out and then we're going to select click on this little thing and we're just going to click on multi-line we're going to drag that all the way down to the bottom there we go just above the go button okay so this is going to be changed to URL response text okay so now it's time to start program we'll double click on the go button and it should come up with our code view now we're going to need to import and it's going to be imports system.net and we don't have to do this but it's just a lot easier to program with so I'll do that so now we're going to add a comment and this will just be so that it's the codes nicer to look at so we'll do create the initial request and then we'll do dim request as http web request equals http web request dot create and after the create, uh, we're just going to put our URL and be rather than actually putting in a predefined URL, we are just going to copy go URL.txt so that you can enter in a random uh, URL and it will work. Now I'm actually going to put a try catch statement in. And the reason why is that we want to distinguish it from proper input and improper input because it will just hang a program if it's not actually a re URL so um, we've created the request uh, we need to add a couple of values onto this request so we just do request.proxy equals nothing what this does is this actually speeds the process up because it's not having to check through proxies and stuff so we'll add the comment here uh, speeds up the request by setting the proxies to nothing uh, then we'll do request.useagent. Now, user agent is like all the client information. So, it, it it's usually if if I'm running Firefox, it will say Mozilla, and then if I'm running Windows, Mozilla, Windows, and a load of other stuff. But at the moment, we'll just put test because we're really not that bothered about that. So, there's number one done. We've created the initial web request, and we can put an X there. Uh, now we need to. Uh, create the response and reader. So we we'll create the response and reader uh, comment, and we'll do dim response as HTTP web response equals request dot get response. Then we'll do um, dim response stream as uh, system .io .stream reader equals response dot get response stream. There we go. Uh, we have a little bit. Oh, there we go. Sorry. System .io .stream. There we go. 
uh, system.io.stream. So we've created the request we've, and we've created the response and the reader. So there we go, that's number two done. Now we need to get the response from the reader. So we'll create a, we'll create a new uh, stream reader. So dim stream reader as new system.io.stream reader and it will be response stream I think it will just be response stream actually dot get no yeah just response stream so there we go uh, so we create the stream reader and now we just need to get the data so we'll do dim data as string equals stream reader dot read to end then we're just going to do stream reader dot close to close the connection now we need to display the data on the screen. So to do that, we'll get our text box uh, name, which is URL response text. Uh, so URL response text dot text equals data, and that is literally it. Uh, we're just going to after this try catch statement, we're just going to put a message box uh, in proper input and that will just tell the user that they've entered a wrong URL and we can do something like URL go URL dot text equals nothing so let's try that out now so we hit the play button and we'll do google.com and we'll hit go now it does sometimes it does take quite a while because it's a little bit slower than normal browsers because uh, the normal browsers actually use more than one request and that is why it speeds up and they also use multiple threads anyway so this is our response from the server and this is actually the google home page uh, i can i can test for improper input by typing in a random bit of jargon and i hit go and it'll just say improper input so there we go that is the end of the lesson and it was pretty easy uh, and I will be doing more on things like this including networking uh, I will probably do a few uh, system API calls and stuff like that and yeah thanks for watching listening uh, comments rate subscribe and thanks for watching